On this episode of Create Consume Repeat, I'll be reviewing the Bang & Olufsen BO Play Portal Wireless Gaming Headphones, designed specifically for the Xbox Series X. Now, before we get into the details, I should mention that I am a headphone audiophile that currently owns a bunch of headphones, ranging from the low end, like these active noise canceling Marshalls, to the high end, like these closed back studio mixing headphones from Bayer Dynamics. And the only reason I even bring this up is to let you know that I am extremely discerning about audio headphone quality. Not to mention, I am well aware of Bang & Olufsen's reputation as a serious hi-fi brand or at least they used to be until they started, you know, placing more emphasis on aesthetics and design over actual audio quality. So what are you actually getting for $500? Yes, that's right. These are not cheap. These headphones are for the seriously discerning Xbox gamer that wants a fully lossless 2.4 gigahertz wireless Dolby Atmos experience with active noise canceling to help immerse you in the game of your choice. Now, before you get too excited, I should mention that there are only a handful of games that actually support Dolby Atmos on the Xbox, with Halo Infinite and Gears 5 being two prime examples. And yes, if you're wondering, these are another pair of studio headphones. It also features a virtual boom arm, which is essentially four separate mics that allow you to talk shit while playing Apex Legends with perfect clarity. Other nifty features include support for Bluetooth 5.1, so you can enjoy listening to tunes off your Bluetooth supported device, and touch sensitive controls, which are extremely, extremely polarizing. Now, unlike other reviews that get into the minutia of how these controls work, just know that they work by either double tapping the metallic discs on either ear cup to mute or sliding your finger up and down these tiny little plastic, you know, control strips located on both ear cups to control game volume or voice chat volume. And just in case you're wondering, all these touch surfaces are extremely responsive. That said, I still prefer tactile control surfaces like buttons or joysticks, but this is purely subjective. One thing we can all agree upon though, is the need for long lasting battery life. And here you can expect up to 12 hours of wireless gaming with active noise canceling and up to 24 hours via Bluetooth with ANC. But to be honest, your mileage will probably depend on various factors like distance and interference. But more on that later. On the build quality side, here is where the portals really shine. Since all the materials are high quality, from the breathable bamboo fiber headband that is light but extremely durable, to the premium, premium calfskin leather ear cups, this headset was built with comfort and extended gameplay in mind. So, with that feature list out of the way, how do they sound? Well, in my opinion, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Let me explain. During the first month of use, the sound quality was amazing, with good balance in the highs and lows, with a fantastic amount of bass. Playing any game that supported Dolby Atmos like Gears 5 was insane. Truly, truly immersive stuff. But then all of a sudden, I began to notice small amounts of interference in the form of pops and pings that would completely ruin any sense of immersion. At first, I tried to ignore it, but it only got worse over time, forcing me to use them in different rooms in my apartment and even going as far as testing them in a different home. And still, the pops and pings, well, they remain. Realizing these headphones worked by sending a signal over the 2.4 gigahertz band, I figured it might be my old 2.4 gigahertz router that was causing the issue. So I invested in a new five gigahertz wireless router. And guess what? Nothing, nothing at all changed. Absolutely nothing. Running out of options, I turned to Reddit only to discover others were having the same issue with our only hope for a solve being the release of updated firmware, which took months to be released. And well, they still didn't resolve the issue. Having run out of options, I contacted customer service, which was equally frustrating since they asked me to uninstall and reinstall both the Dolby Atmos app on the Xbox and the Bang & Olufsen iPhone app, neither of which solved my problem, resulting in them sending me a new pair, which are the ones right here. Frustrated by this whole experience, I scoured the internet for each and every review I could find, 
and only found one review that mentioned interference, which leads me to a few conclusions. Number one, professional game journalists and YouTube reviewers failed to thoroughly test these headphones. Headphones, I might add, that cost as much as the game console they were designed for. Two, the Xbox seal of approval process failed its customers, upsetting so many users that I directly messaged Phil Spencer on Twitter, and I'm still waiting for a response. And three, Bang and Olufsen have yet to acknowledge this as a serious issue. What the f So, did the new headset fix these issues? Well, no. And now I am the proud owner of $500 headphones designed for the Xbox Series X that don't work. Sure, I can still use these with my iPhone or Android devices, but why would I do that when I own a far superior pair of Apple AirPod Max headphones? Questions, comments, suggestions on how to get these to actually work properly. Drop them in the comment section below. And as always, please click the like, subscribe, and bell button. They notify you when I drop a new episode and more importantly, help me grow this channel. Catch you guys next time.